Hey, I'm Dr. Neil Renault, optometrist at Eagle Eye Performance Vision. This video is all about accommodation or eye focusing, how we use our eyes to zoom in and focus and make our vision clear. One of many very cool visual skills that you can learn more about by subscribing to our channel, finding us on Facebook and Instagram, and here we go. Okay, so accommodation. This is eye focusing. This is our eye's ability to zoom in and zoom out just like a camera so that we can make our vision clear at many different distances where we zoom in up close and then zoom our vision out to see far away clearly. You can try this by covering one eye, looking out far away while holding up a finger right in front of where you're looking. And while you're looking far away, you'll see that your finger is not clear, it's blurry. Then when you zoom your vision in right onto your finger, you can make it clear and then your distance vision is blurry. So it depends on whatever distance that you are looking. That is the, that's the distance of targets that we can make clear. At reading distance, we need to zoom our eyes in. We need to focus and flex those, those focusing muscles to make our near vision clear. While far away, we can zoom our vision out. We can relax those focusing muscles to make distance vision clear. Eventually we lose this ability and uh, around 40 years old people start needing to get bifocals or reading glasses. It gets a little bit worse every few years until eventually the same spot in your eye, the lens, that's the spot we get a cataract as we progress uh, into geriatric ages. However, many children actually struggle to use their accommodation or focusing muscles. It's not that they don't have the ability, they just have not learned and developed the ability to use those muscles correctly to make their, their vision clear depending on distance or near targets. So their eyes are capable of focusing, their brain just hasn't learned how to do the focusing for them. So we work with focusing problems all the time in our office. They can affect students in three different ways where they could really struggle mightily or, or really just one or two. Um, we, they could struggle with the way their eyes feel, the way that things look for them, and the way that they perform. So for someone who's struggling with the way their eyes feel is, is where they're, they're reading and they're looking up close for long periods of time and that causes a lot of strain. It's difficult. Those muscles are kind of at their break point. So students will struggle with headaches, with eye strain. Their eyes get very tired when they're reading because they're working so hard to get their eyes focused. They also may struggle with the way they see. They could see the prints look blurry when they're taking notes in school. There could be a lag time where they struggle to look far away and then zoom back in because their eyes are not focusing quickly. They could also see fluctuating clarity, kind of like a camera that just won't quite get clear. The print can go in and out of focus while they're reading. Plus, if you're really struggling to make your vision clear, if it's taking so much work that it's causing eye strain and headaches and fatigue, well, you're working so hard on something that should be seamless and automatic for your brain to make your vision clear. So we can lose performance in other ways where our brain should be really thinking about processing and understanding what we're reading. If you're really just focused on making your vision clear, that's taking away from energy and attention in your brain for comprehension, for reading speed, for fluency, for keeping your place. Uh, you know, we're, we're focusing on, on a skill that should be really easy and automatic, so it's taking away from your ability to perform. Now students use accommodation in two different ways in the classroom. We have sustained near work, as well as making lots of near far transitions. So sustained near work for a student, their eyes need to focus for long periods of time when they're reading, when reading a whole chapter or working their way through a textbook, uh, when they're taking tests, when they are working through a worksheet and homework where it's a long time spent with your vision clear up close. We also really need to make a lot of near far transitions like note taking. We are relaxing, looking far, and then zooming in close, far, close, far, close, making lots of rapid transitions. Think if your eyes have a lag time where they're not clear right away and it takes extra effort to find where you were on the board or on your notes, that can cause students to really fall behind during note taking because it's one extra thing they're thinking about while trying to keep up. Now this doesn't sound very good. The good news is that eye focusing and accommodation, these skills are developmental, which means if, if a student hasn't learned how to focus their eyes yet, they still can. They just need the right treatment to learn how to do what they're struggling with right now. So once you get a proper diagnosis, vision therapy can work to, to teach a student how to focus their eyes to do it more effectively to make clear vision, to do it easily so their eyes don't get tired and hurt after long periods of time, and make, these, make this so automatic, so simple without effort, 
and, and uh, uh, change the brain, build pathways in the brain that can last long term so that it helps the student focus their eyes right now this year as well as every year after this because we can make permanent change in the brain where, where uh, these are not just stronger eye muscles, these are stronger neurological pathways controlling those eye muscles. So that's great news, right? Once you know what the problem is, we can fix it. Make sure to find a developmental optometrist who can diagnose these problems for you as well as many others. You can find our website, eagleeyevisiontherapy.com uh, or find a local provider near you at covd.org. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment or, or ask questions below if you have any anything that you want to bring up and uh, make sure to watch for more content coming soon.